it's Heather from the Leaper Library here again. Today I'm going to tell you about PressReader. PressReader is a website and an app for phone and iPad or tablet that you can use to read magazines and newspapers from all over the world. There's over 7,000 different titles, lots of things. So like an e-platform, PressReader is available from a button on the library homepage. I'll just scroll down. Press Reader and we'll select Press Reader. You can of course also go to pressreader.com. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the computer. Uh, you've got some featured magazines and newspapers showing straight up. You also have options here to just go to newspapers or magazines or just go to Australian content. The numbers there are the numbers of publications in each of those categories. You can also look at these different categories, subject areas. So if you're interested in magazines about computers and technology, you can select that. And uh, Look through until you find something that you're interested in. Let's have a look at Macworld. Once it's open, you can just scroll through the pages just like you would on a physical magazine, but this time it's on your computer. Over here, you've got page view, but you've also got text view and that makes brings up a more text-based version of the pages. And if you're interested in one particular article, you click on the arrow and then you can see more of just the text view. So that might actually be easier for you to read. Um, I think definitely when you're on a phone, uh, the text view is probably a little bit better. You can also find magazines from particular countries or newspapers, of course. Um, go up to the countries tab up here and you can scroll down until you find, um, perhaps if you come from China, you can go and see what magazines and newspapers we have from China. Some of these are in English and a lot of these are in Chinese. Um, you can also find magazines by the language. Of course, if you're going to be reading magazines and newspapers here for your AEP subject or for learning English, it's going to be much better for you to be reading in English. If you know the name of the magazine or newspaper you'd like to read, you can search for it up in the search box here. Taste, that's one of my favourite food and cooking magazines. This is the one. All right, just a quick look at what Press Reader looks like on the iPad. It's very, very similar to the web page. Um, you've got all the categories are down the side here. Select in and out. You can also it then pops up with the different countries that the magazines come from it's slightly different um, choose a magazine that you'd like to read and when you've chosen an issue select read I think it actually downloads onto your iPad so that is a slight difference to on the website what that means is if you've downloaded it, you can then read it on your iPad um, without being connected to the internet. So that's kind of handy to know. Another useful feature of Press Reader is that you can actually have the magazine or newspaper articles read to you. So on this page here, if you tap it, you'll get some menu options. Go to the three dots up the top 
There's a few other things you can do, like adding a bookmark and so on, but one of them is listen. Our photographer Jeremy Simons on how to take a winning food photo. One set up the photo shoot next to an open window, so you can use natural light, but avoid direct sunlight. Okay, so it's not exactly Stephen Fry reading Harry Potter on the platform, but um, sometimes having an article read to you instead of having to sit and actually look at the screen is useful. And I know it's a robotic voice, but it's better than nothing. So give it a try if that, um, that sounds useful to you. All right, so how do you actually get access to Press Reader? Well, if you're going to be using it on a phone or a tablet, you will need to go to your app store and download the app. You just search for Press Reader. <clears throat> it's an app that looks a bit like this. Um, and you'll notice on our library homepage, there's another tab here called About Press Reader. I'm going to go here because I've got step-by-step -step instructions that have been created on this page. And that's going to be the easiest way for me to show you right now what the steps actually are. So here are the step-by-step -step instructions. I might just move myself out of the way. <laughs> All right, so this is an iPad screen here. The sign-in is down the bottom left on the computer. Of course, I've got to move myself again. The sign-in is up here on the top bar. But either way, it's the same function. So the first thing to do is to collect, select sign in. Now it pops up and there's some options there, but you ignore those. What you need to choose is libraries and groups. And then select library or group and search for Trinity and you'll find library Trinity College pops up there. So you select that and then select sign up. And you're gonna be taken to a registration screen where you use your Trinity unimail.edu.au email. <clears throat> That's the only email address that will work for Trinity for access to our version of Press Reader, or our free, our subscription that we pay for so that you can read things for free. So this is the page that you sign up at. You use your Trinity email address. <clears throat> You use a password it does not have to be the password that you use for trinity and in fact it probably shouldn't be because that's not very secure to be using the same password on multiple sites it's not connected to your email address <clears throat> in any way you will need to put in your first and last name you can allow them to send you emails or not and then you select create my account so here i've got someone at trinity .unimail.edu.au, I've put in a password, your name goes in there, create my account. Okay, and then it pops up with the instruction, they've sent you an email to verify your address. This is the important step in the process, that's how press reader knows that you're genuinely a Trinity student or staff member. So you go to your emails, you find that email and you click on the link. And then when you've clicked on the link, you'll go to Press Reader and it'll say, Welcome to Trinity College. So now you can start reading magazines and newspapers on Press Reader. You'll see on mine here, it says complimentary access, six days and 19 hours left. That's because it must be 23 or 24 days ago since I first signed in with this account. Um, the signing up in this way only lasts for 30 days. At that point, when, it, um, when the 30 days is up, what you would need to do is come up to your account, go to my account, and under here, library or group, <clears throat> you go to manage, and at this point, it will say resend authentication email. You resend that email, Click the link again, you've got another 30 days. <clears throat> when we are eventually back on site at Trinity, anytime you 
uh, connect to press reader while you're connected to the Trinity Wi-Fi, you automatically get access without having to sign in or create an account. And that access continues for a week after you leave the campus. So you could have your iPad at Trinity on Monday, so, uh, access press reader, it gives you access via the hotspot and then you've conti you continue to have access on your iPad when you go home or when you're not even, um, as long as you're on some kind of internet access, you'll continue to have access. But for now, we have to do the email verification. So to sum up, Press Reader has over 7,000 different magazines and newspapers from all over the world that you can read for fun, to learn things, or to keep up with current events. All Trinity students and staff can use Press Reader for free. You can access Press Reader from the link on the library website or download the Press Reader app for your phone or tablet. Sign up via libraries and groups and access lasts for 30 days. After that, you can get the email to authenticate again. If you're on site at any Trinity campus and connected to the college Wi-Fi, you can connect without signing up. I hope that you enjoy what Press Reader has to offer and remember, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to get in touch. Music